Alright, it's MVC3. Once again, I'm Seb for FrameAdvantage.com, and I'm here this time with Mr. Sanford Kelly, another Marvel vs. Capcom 2 legend. How you doing, Sanford? How you doing, Seb? I'm doing alright, man. Uh, so here we are with the new Marvel game, at long last, after 10 years, and uh, tell me about your experience with this so far. I've uh, been playing it for a few days. I... You know, I've been playing Marvel 2 for a very long time, and this game is a lot different. It's a lot like TVC. All right. Why don't we get into training mode so you can show me some stuff? Sure. So, uh, thing is, did you like the game right away when you got it or what? When I first started playing it, I was very disappointed because, you know, I'm a Marvel 2 player, so... Yeah, sure. You, you, know. you were expecting it to be very similar to that, right? Exactly. And uh, it didn't turn out to be, but, you know, I, I do like cer certain things about the game, so it's not too bad. All right, all right. So, uh, let's talk about your... Talk, talk about your team right now. In Marvel 2, I guess it was a uh, Cable, Scent, and um, Commando. Commando, right? It's, it's my team was Storm, Scent, and Commando. Oh, sorry. I, I feel, I feel, <laughs> like, I feel like I seen you play Cable a bunch. Yeah, I won the last Evo with him. That's why. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but I guess Cable's C Cable's no longer in here. Well, Commando's I, no longer in here. I found out a nice little substitute. Okay. So let me show you. I play with Chris Redfield. Uh, kind of like Cable, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Found my little substitute. So, let's see, it beat up. <laughs> Alright, so Sentinel, Storm, and Chris. Looks like you have a, a zoning team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of bullets. A lot of gunfire. character on my, game, on my team is uh, Storm, who can rush down, but she's also getting good. Okay. So you, and you keep Sentinel out in front. Now, t explain to me the reasoning behind your order here. Sentinel um, on point, and followed by Storm, followed by Chris. Well, I started him first because I'm in training mode. I want to show you some stuff with Sentinel. Oh, okay. okay. The character I've been training with uh, the most recently. Um, normally, I would start Chris first. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because Sentinel drones with his keep away is really is a really good strategy. It forces people to kind of go to the sky. Oh, I see. Um. And I'll show you some stuff with Chris as well as to why, you know, I would start him first. Okay, okay. So, but right now you've been training with Sentinel specifically the hardest. Yes. Uh, now, what attracted you to this character? I mean, I guess because you, you already played him in two? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's my favorite character in two, uh, along with Storm. And um, he's, uh, you know, he's a big target, but he's also takes a lot of damage. Sure. So that's another thing I liked about him, and he's just fun to use. All right, so show him some stuff. Well, um, in this game... Uh, wave dash is a real big thing. So like, wait, wait, wave dashing in general, like. All right, and by wave dashing, uh, how do you mean exactly? Like it's uh, it's down in both attack buttons, right? any attack buttons. Okay. Uh, preferably uh, B or C. Okay. So it's like it's down in in both buttons at the same time, but they have to be simultaneous. They have to be at the same time. Which means you cannot be incorrect at all. If you do it incorrectly, you get that. Oh, jeez. All right. So like, so it has to be perfect. So for for new people learning how to try to play this game uh, competitively, that's some that's an execution thing that you recommend to get yeah. down pat immediately. Yeah, because it it, it it gets him out of situations like you know he's a big target. So when he's on the ground, I think he has great ground movement. Like, I think his ground movement is great. Like, which is ironic for such a big guy. Yeah, like he. But you now have is, to it, move with him. is that is that wave dash back dash? Is it like Street Fighter Four where it's invulnerable, or can uh, you hit it? No, you can hit him. You can okay. hit him when he back dashes. All right. It's just to get out of a situation like you know when somebody's approaching you, mm. you just get away like. like you know, cool. It's like, it's good. It's move. All right. So um, now with the Sentinel combos, like, do, does all the old stuff still work? Um. All right. They changed a lot with him. Like when you fly in this game, right? Mm. You can't like unfly immediately. Like, see, like you see how there's lag. Yeah, like, there's yeah, a yeah. Little, like delay. Yeah, yeah. You can't just de you can't just fly and fly, fly and fly. It doesn't work like that. But he still has unfly, which means he can swing after he unflies. Okay. And he gives you an, an additional fly. action in the air for yeah. combos and stuff. So you can swing in the air and then unfly and swing again, just like in the old game. Right. But the thing about it is, in this game, when you when you fly. I believe you can't block. Okay, that's a big change. So, <laughs> you can't block. To my knowledge, I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me on it, but I don't I don't think you can block. So, as soon as somebody sees you flying, they can tag you with something like they a can, Okami Super or like Amaterasu, sorry. You can you can uh you can swing and hit them before they come to you though. And you can turn that into this. What this move does in this game, 
it smacks you down like in Marvel 2, but mm -hmm. in this game, it knocks you down to a point where you can't get back. Like it bounces you off the ground. Right, right. There's a lot of uh, a lot of focus on OTG setups in mm -hmm. this game. It looks like There's a OTG lot of being uh, on the ground, hitting a guy into the ground, and then continuing to combo him. Yep. And then in this game, like you know how you can do spit rocket punch full screen. Yeah, right, right, right. It, the rocket punch does not go full screen in this game. Oh, that's a huge nerf. So they changed that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, you can't even make it go, so, you can spin on somebody, but you can't combo off of it unless you do this. Oh, I see. That's okay. all you can get. Like, you all can't right. even super, you know? Oh, yeah, the super comes out way too slow for that. Exactly. So, yeah. the all you can do, like, at this range is that, or, or rocket punch that. I see. So, it looks like uh, they, they kind of toned down Sentinel's full screen combo abilities. Yeah. yeah. You can't, like, just throw things out and combo off of them all the time. Sure. You know, it's easy to use it takes a lot of damage from them. Alright, well the thing that, the, the, we're talking a lot about the things that uh, Sentinel like lost from two, but what about the stuff he's got now? Alright. <laughs> In this game it is very damage related, so <laughs> a lot of things do a lot of damage in this game. Okay, I believe it. So in this game, when you launch somebody, right? You can do like like his See like he got stuff like that. Yeah, sure. With the unfly attack at the end too. Like, uh, let me show you a combo. Like, Wait. yeah, I, 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 I like practicing on him for some reason. I don't know, <laughs> particular reason. See, in this game, you oh, can bring geez. them down with the with, with this move. Wait, that did so much damage. Yeah, I told you, he does a lot of damage. Wait, that that was almost a one touch with one meter. Like, uh. I, I, I'll show you my strongest combo with them. Okay, let's you do, do it. Like, all right, let me show you. You do like. Ah, whoops. It's a, it's a hard combo. Remember, I just. Sure, sure. I'm gonna try to get it out. That's like the most damaging combo yet. And then, uh, if you X factor, X factor that into itself, yeah, then it's done. Or you can DHC really it. Need the X factor. He's practically dead. By yeah, that's, that's true. D DHC probably better. So, that's like one combo he has. <laughs> For one meter. It was uh, like 90%. More than 90%. Stuff like this. You can jump up again. Oh, okay. But it looks like with this character, you're not looking for uh, resets, huh? You're just getting that damage. Not, 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 not necessarily. You can, you can just do like a, a safe combo with him, and it's just, it does it does so much by itself. You sure. Know? Now the thing about, thing about Marvel 3 is once you do touch somebody, you can take huge amounts of damage off him. But how, how? what are your strategies in getting that first hit? Um, well, like, like I said, I have a keep away team, so oh, that's most true. people are going to come towards me. So you're looking for them to make a mistake, right? Yeah. Overextend themselves. That was, a, that was a, like, one of my... Oh my gosh, it hurt so much. Like, that was one combo that I learned, like, day two. Sure. <laughs> playing the game. <laughs> and, uh, they also gave Sentinel in this game a command grab. Because <laughs> they didn't give him enough, right? So, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently he has a command grab now. Alright, alright. He can throw you, like, that, and then... Oh, but that combo that. probably only works in the corner, right? I mean, yeah. But still, but, wow, that did so much damage, yeah. actually. Wait, wait. Yeah. So, like, he can wave dash up to you, right? He can go, and then just <laughs> grab, grab you, watch. Like. I wonder if there's, if there, people will find ways. To, I mean, with that kind of speed on the wave dash, like, do you even need to look for a Kara or anything? No, probably not, no. No. And another thing about the game that they gave him is a lot of characters in the game, when they throw you, like, with a normal grab, yeah, yeah. they can combo with it. Sure. So, True anime fighter style. So, it. They gave that to this character, which didn't need it. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Dude, off a grab. Off a grab. <laughs> More than 50%. <laughs> like, just just getting that alone <laughs> will demoralize your opponent. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright. So, okay, let's, let's, uh, you know what? Yipes already showed some Storm stuff. Can, can we check out what's going on with Chris? Okay. Alright. This character, right? Who I've learned yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, has a lot of keep away. Like okay. for one, he has a flamethrower. Right? Yeah, sure. The flamethrower, you can't normal jump over this really. Oh you really? To, yeah, if you try to normal jump over it, it brings you down. Wow. So it's like it keeps you out, it keeps you out really good, right? He can't like combo off it or nothing like that. 
my knowledge, but he can throw a grenade. Alright, now I'm gonna show you the difference between his grenades. Like, that was his grenade. His jag grenade is a landmine, which okay. is next to him. So if you try to attack him, he can throw that one. Alright, but it doesn't last forever. It doesn't last forever. Right, okay. It's, it lasts for about, uh, I guess, three, three seconds. Sure, okay. His medium punch one is just a regular grenade. And it has a different arc, it looks like, from the fierce yeah, one, actually. And the fierce one has a, uh, another arc, but. Oh, it's not, it's not the same arc, but it gets the incendiary. Yeah, and then, like, when you do that, you can, like, shoot him on the ground. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's, it's a lot of cool stuff he has, like. Cool. <laughs> and then, um. <laughs> Wait, can, can you get into, like, that prone stance and then shoot him that way? I wouldn't. <laughs> so, like. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. That does so much damage. Eat lead. Eat lead. <laughs> but um, it looks yeah. like you can troll really well with him. You're gonna make a lot of people angry with this character. Like the shotgun is a good tool as well. Okay. It has great range. Like, oh range wow. Is good. Like, do you, do you, oh, so, so you start getting fewer hits, fewer, fewer, yeah. fewer of the pellets connecting like, for you. But it's, it but it's still. Range. But you can still hit the guy full screen. No, it's not full screen. It'll be too cheap. Okay. <laughs> but um, the, the machine gun is full screen. Like, see the thing. Is, oh man, this game trips me out because the thing about this is, characters can look like they're full, full screen, but uh -huh. they're not because the camera is zoomed in, and then when you keep going out, it zooms out. Oh gosh. And um, you can like tag it need. Like you know, cable type of hyper beam. If yeah, you right. Tag it need that. You can hit him full screen as well. Like, oh wow. Fire. Oh jeez. Like, That's unbelievable. The Magnum is really good. Uh, some of his can you combo into uh, after it looks like in, if they're in the corner? Oh, I, I haven't tried that yet. Oh yeah, you can. So, like, you can like. Like he has some nice stuff. Like he... dude, that hurts so much. The Magnum. You gotta. One of his combos. That's the bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> For <laughs> one meter, you do so much damage. And uh, like I said, he's a keep away character. Like, sure. Another thing about him is you can do multiple moves after another if you're throwing bombs. So if you throw a bomb, you can do like. Suck on this. Fire in the hole. Suck it. Suck on this. Oh wow. Suck on this. Suck on this. Oh gosh. So you can just really just fill the screen. Yeah. With weapons here. So like you can be like. Oh jeez. Okay. So w with your playstyle, you like to zone the character. You like to zone your opponents. How do you feel like that's um that's represented in this game? It, it seems to me that uh, zoning is a lot stronger. Okay. For one, a lot of characters that do a lot of damage, I notice have air dashes. Okay. This, I, I believe, stops air dash because I can just lay it there. So if they do that, they'll get blown up by it for trying to triangle jump. Oh, got the it. Triangle got jump it. is. It's this. Right, right. Like, the air dash characters, they have that. Like, Storm, um, she can't, like, in this game, you can't triangle jump and just swing and overhead somebody. You gotta be yeah, able right, to right. jump, like. like yeah, like Yipe Yipe was speaking to that as well. And I actually find Storm uh, a, an interesting addition to your team because she can be a rushdown character or a zoning character depending on how you yeah. play her. Like, you know, she has this in the air, which hits multiple times in this game. It didn't hit multiple times in the game. Interesting. Game, so it, it looks like since since the, it's uh they get hit for longer, you could probably use an assist to bridge the gap and then combo. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can just do, like, uh, stuff like this. Yes. Oh, wow. So the, so the whirlwind, um, it, it pushes people out even on block, right? Yeah. So that's a huge <laughs> I mean, way, to, do, way to keep somebody away like from you. The thing uh, they changed about Storm is she doesn't do that much damage with her special moves. Okay. But uh, her supers are really good. Like her hailstorm, like the chip is yeah, the, chip is the same amount as you're getting hit. <laughs> so, <laughs> which is really cheap, but... A and know, it's like instant full screen. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great super. Like, I, I love that addition to this. Character and um, she also has a loop that I found out. Okay, let's see it. It's like uh, that. Nice. So, like, yeah, she can do it twice actually. Like, she can do uh, uh, 
to launch him after that. Right? There we go. Hey, does how, how, like America, America's favorite DHC is still good? You still use that stuff? I mean, you can, but, but it doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's uh. It's not worth as effective. It. Right. Like, I, you, I, you, can't get, you can't get the full screen rocket punch into another one after that, right? Yeah, you, you don't. So. But it's still, it's still good though. She has it's still combo. an option, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's a great option. Alright, so hold on, hold on. What was your order again? Do you have Storm as your third character or Sentinel? I would usually use Storm second because she can just get in. Easily. Interesting. She has a safe way in. Like, I, I was talking to Yats earlier, and um, he said that Storm is a great third character because once you have meter with Storm, uh -huh. you can fly away, you can just chip them to death with uh, with Hailstorm. It's Honestly, I think a lot of people are saying that because of x Because when she does hail and this, it takes so much damage. Yeah. And if you block it, it takes almost the same amount. As so you can just chip hit. the last character down, or yeah. chip your three characters down. Yeah, sure. But um, I believe getting the character in is important to me. Okay. When you're, when you're, when you're having trouble with your first character, and um, I like to save my characters. Like I like to save her, so she'll be last anyway. Okay. You know, I'll just reserve her for later. All right, all right, cool. All right, well, why don't we uh, check out another team you've been working on? Some more well, characters. Um, this is the only team I've been playing. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, but uh, let, let's let's go through your process actually about you know when when you approach a new character, how how you try to figure them out, you know. Okay. So when you're looking for characters, what do you look for? First, I look for. Damage and how safe they are. Safe they are, okay. And especially damage. I mean, do you always uh, look at, you know, keep away projectile characters only or what? No, I, I, I rush down and I keep away. I just uh, like to have a keep away team first. Okay. Because I know most people are going to have trouble getting in on keep away teams at first. Okay. Until they devise a way to better their rush down to get in on it. Interesting. All right. So um, I always learn a second team later on, like about a month after it. Just for rushdown. Interesting. Just in case. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah, I mean the the game is very young, so you're you're coming up with tactics like that are not just just for the game, but actually just for for like the the state of the game in the community. Yeah. How good people are doing certain things, like, stuff like I that. I gotta look uh, into like I've never touched Ryu in the game, so I'll, I'll mess with him. Man, Akuma just looks so much better though. <laughs> I heard Akuma's a lot better, but I don't know. And you know I gotta pick Viper, you know. Yeah, she's cool. Marn's been playing a lot of Viper. In this game. Uh, yeah. You see all those videos uh, that show you can post in? He's got a whole bunch of videos of, of Marn fighting up, uh, like Keats and Justin, Ultra David. Uh, it, look, it looks like she can combo into her EX, uh, whatever, and then get a focus combo out of it and just co keep comboing. Wow. Alright, um, right, so t tell us what's going on in your head as you're trying out a character for the first time. Um, first I try out his uh, Tiger Knee moves, which is that. Alright, so by Tiger Knee you mean uh, doing, like in inputting the motion with the joystick and then jumping immediately after yeah. and then pressing the button. It's like uh, down, down forward, to forward, to up forward. And so then like, press punch. So yeah. so it's, it's basically the same thing as doing a fireball, but you put, you're put you putting a jump in between the left hand and the exactly. right hand. Exactly. You're just like leaving the ground a little forward. It's pretty good. And why is that important to you? Well, because instead of all right. Instead of throwing a fireball like normal jump, right? If I normal jump and throw a fireball, right. it's high. Sure. So it means that they can just walk under it. If oh, okay. I throw it on the ground, they can just jump over it. But if I throw it in the middle of the screen, oh, all right. It's harder for them to avoid. So when you when you're talk when you're talking about controlling the screen space in this game, like that is the actual stuff that you need. Like you need to be able to cover both the jump and the staying on the ground, huh? Exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. It just stops them from being so so having so much mobility. Right. Right. Know? So I like to like me. I'm that type of player. I like to shut options down. Okay. You know? And I, li I like to make it hard for somebody to to, to to get in on me. All right. So we talked we talked to Yats earlier about him uh, overwhelming his opponent with his his options. Mm -hmm. But you like to instead of doing that, shut down the opponent's ability to use their options. Exactly. Like that's what I like to do. All like, right. So uh, let's let's continue to explore Ryu here. So we'll, now what are you gonna try out? Um. Well, I've never tried it. So let me try let me try some combos. That's just ABC stuff. And tell me what, tell me uh, the kind of sound, kind of what you're thinking here. Well, I've seen this combo on top of the Yeah, you see, it's, 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 it seems very to similar to TVC. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, Ryu was a beast in that game. Oh, so he can't run in after that. I'm just trying to. 
It's always easy. Yeah. You can't throw in one. Oh no, but if you shoot it upward, it'll combo, I guess. Does he does he have one that shoots up? Hey, how do you, how do you, how do you aim the Hadouken upward? Yeah, just hold up. Just try it out. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, there you go. Can he shoot it like? <laughs> you can't shoot it up for Uh... Try it, I don't know. Dude, I haven't touched this game before. Oh, so you can, it's only straight up or straight sideways? Yeah, I know. Oh, he can pull it over to the side, but... Uh, it doesn't look like that's worth much. Yeah, I don't think he can do that. Alright, so when, when uh, this, the tournament season, I guess, the tournament community for this game is going to grow. Uh, obviously the game's coming out this week. So uh, what what are you going what are you excited about seeing? What are you kind of worried about? Like uh, Yves was talking about how maybe they should change the rule about the damage. But um, what do you think? Uh, personally, from playing the game, I could honestly say that it takes too much damage, but pull it, putting it to low is kind of not a, I don't think it's a good idea because then it's going to be a bunch of time overs. Yeah, you, you think so? I mean, like it seems like you so can put, still do putting, good putting damage. The damage the low is going to be it's gonna be all time overs to me. So I honestly, I don't think they should put it to low because it's, it's gonna be every max is gonna be a time over. Pretty hmm. much. And, and so, even you're speaking even as a keep away player, like yeah, you, think, all, <laughs> you, you don't want gonna, that. They're gonna be time overs unless people just can't block anything. Sure. Which when people get good, they're gonna start blocking everything. So it's gonna be harder to open people up. All right. So um, like you alluded earlier about like. It's important to play. You you think it's important to play a keep away team first because when the game is young, they're not going to know how to deal with it. No, it's going to be harder for them to deal. Sure, with it. Yeah. but like, what what about when the game gets really mature? Like, what what do you think is like the ultimate kind of like, like what's play style? Like, going to dominate more? Yeah. yeah. Down keep away? Yeah. I think it's going to be even. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like, how how was Marvel Two uh, in that in that regard? Personally, I think it's. I think it's more rushdown based a mm -hmm. little bit sure. because of Magneto and Storm, right. and they're the best characters of the game. So I think it's more rushdown based Marvel 2. But this game, I think Keep Away is just as good. Like characters like Arthur and Chris and Modok, Modok and Dante. Dante can keep away real good too. Mm. Trish can keep away real good. Like those characters have like excellent keep away, man. Like excellent. Like, All right. So w when you're talking about like the cast of this game, you think it's uh you think it's better than two in terms of like. Not in terms of like which characters they chose, but in terms of like the play styles that it represented. I think it's way more balanced. <laughs> like it's you can play with a lot more characters in this game rather than part two. Part two is like four characters and it's nothing. Yeah, sure. This game is like more playable characters that can compete in high level play. Cool. You know, so it's, it is more balanced than part two. I'll All right. So last thing, if you have if you have any advice for people that are that may, maybe didn't play part two and uh, only played Street Fighter four or something like that, like what would you tell them as they're trying to pick this game up? One, if you're trying to be the best, keep playing. You know it's real hard to be the best in any game because there's a lot of competition, especially in this game. It's gonna be a lot of competition. Um, don't crack under pressure. I know it's harder to you know do than anything, but you gotta concentrate and. Keep your head in the game, man. Don't let nobody take your mind off the game. All right. When you're playing, be motivated, and you should get the results. You know? Yeah, sure. Why and any more specific? Any anything more specific? Like picking top tiers, oh. or like control control that tiger in the area pick, of the pick, screen. Pick Sentinel. Pick Sentinel. Pick Sentinel. Pick Sentinel. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> you want damage? You want easy? Pick Sentinel. All right, all right. Thanks a lot, Sanford. Um, we we'll record some matches where you can put your money where your mouth is in a bit. <laughs> And uh, stay tuned for more stuff from FamilyMans.com. Thanks a lot, man. All right.